Gordon Ramsay's famous cheeseburger recipe. Not even a recipe, wow. Welcome back to a brand new cooking vlog. Now you guys all know that everyone compares me to Gordon Ramsay. Oh, here we go again. I just can't. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, Gordon. So what I thought I'd do for you guys today, I'm gonna make hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and I'm gonna follow one of his YouTube videos and try to recreate one of the Gordon Ramsay cheeseburger, hamburger, french fries videos, right? Right. Right, Nick. I'm like, what am I doing today? That's what I'm doing. So everybody, welcome. This is Chef Nina. I was born in London, UK. I shop at Harrods. And welcome. We're going to have a cup of tea. We're going to have a cup of tea before we start our hamburgers. <laughs> and also, Nick, what are you doing wrong? You have to get out of there. Let's go in the other room. You're fired. So I'm going to start watching Gordon Ramsay's video and tell you guys how I'm going to raise hell. All right, you guys, I just watched the first step of the video and I think I kind of got this. So I'm going to do a variation of what he does. Okay, I'm going to do a variation of what he does because I'm Chef Nina from the Harrods in London. Okay, and you guys know everybody who lives in the UK where Harrods is. So I'm going to do a version of it. But in the meantime, Larry came out of her room and I think she's hungry. So I've already started making some of my famous round French fries. This is actually, my grandmother used to make me fries like this, so when I come home from school, she'd always have a plate ready, and uh, my mom used to do this too. And you know what I'm gonna do? I actually have something to add to it. It's a surprise, it's a surprise for later. This is some cooking that, so she eats this, so she's not hungry, because she just woke up after we starving. I took out this pan to cook a hamburger in, but Chef Ramsay used this, the same uh, griddle thing that I have, so I'm just gonna follow him and do what he did. So we're gonna get rid of this pan and use this, okay? That's what we're gonna do. A little side step here, let me just show you guys. Um, before I get into the meat, because I'm gonna start cooking the potatoes. So you know, you can take any type of potato that you like. These are, what kind did you buy me, Nick? You, you can't, you okay. rolled in Yukon. So Nick decided to buy me Yukon, which is the perfect ones to buy. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I think so, whatever, <laughs> it's all good. It just doesn't matter. It just matter. doesn't matter. And this is, again, as I told you guys, my grandmother used to make this for me, and I just love it when it's like in circular shapes. It reminds me of my childhood. So you don't want to make them too thick, or they're not going to cook that great. You want to make them as even as possible, because then again, they'll cook at the same pace. Okay, we're going to just add a little salt and pepper to them. All right, so I think we have enough here. We already started a batch from Blair, and then um, salt and pepper. He goes, did you put a little dash of salt, a little dash of pepper, a little dash of salt? I should have been... I should have been British. All right, here we go. He's turned this around. Oh my God, you're scaring me, woman. <laughs> you're scaring me, child. I'm like, I'm like cooking with my legs, cooking with my head, cooking with my feet. Look how good these look, you guys. And you can make them a little crispy, or you can make them however way you like. So that's my first batch. I'm gonna have my second batch ready. Oh. Hmm, whose soda is this, Nina? Um, I recently developed a new diet where I drink a diet soda in the morning with a handful of chips. Don't judge me. Quarantine did me wrong. So I watched him with his meat. And by the way, I always get the least fat meat. So I think this had, what did you buy me, Nick? 93.7. Okay. So we bought, I personally went and I went to a farm. Farm? I personally bought this lovely organic grass-fed beef with 3% fat. So I just, I just love it. 7% fat. Okay. I recently purchased <laughs> this ground beef with 7% fat. So Gordon Ramsay put egg yolks in this, and I know some people do. I know my mom used to put little bits of mushroom in it. Um, I don't like egg yolks, it's just because my kids don't like it. Um, I'm not sure if Nicolette's gonna eat it, she's gonna buy it later, but I know for sure Blair will. So she told me no egg yolks, so I'm gonna go without it. So we're gonna take a little th bit of the meat, and we're just gonna pound it like this. Gordon Ramsay, where are you? Okay, and I'm gonna create one. This, one has, this one's a little too skinny. Come here, back honey. I gotta fatten you up. Okay, with, so for my hamburgers, I'm just gonna put a little salt and pepper, that's it. This, there's enough juice in meat. You don't really need that much, I think. But other people, like Mr. Gordon Ramsay, seem to think you need egg yolks and all sorts of other things. Again, no hate, but try to make them as even as possible. This one has a little belly fat. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna do a couple of burgers because I'm a fungi lover. Who are my fungi lovers out there? Okay, so you put the fungi in here and it actually gives it a lot of juice. 
You see what I mean? Nick, go back 30 seconds where Nina says, we don't need to add much to the meat because it's already so juicy. Just a little bit of salt and a bit of pepper. So for my hamburgers, I'm just gonna put a little salt and pepper, that's it. This, there's enough juice in meat. You don't really need that much, I think. So we're making two, oh. <laughs> this is how you're supposed to chop fungi. Remember you guys, to make it interesting, keep one fungi at the end of your knife. Here. Fungi, come back. I miss you. <laughs> okay, so we are going to make two of these fungi. And again, remember, you don't really need that much in it. But I think since while we're doing the fungi, we might as well just add a few more ingredients. I mean, I know we started this video saying we don't really need much, but sometimes you just really need a lot. Okay, make sure you guys wash your, wash your hands really well. Okay, so let's check out our potatoes. Our soaking the potatoes are doing really well. I started them on medium, then I take them down to low. Then you take them. Nick, hide the soda. It's not good for the look. Okay, I'm back to it again. So you, I usually just drain the excess oil on paper towels, right? And I'm gonna serve a bowl of this right now to Blair because I believe she's hungry. Hello, darling. I can take mine this one. Okay, darling, welcome to Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. You guys can pat the fries like this just to get any excess oil out. Because we all know if we're eating potato chips for breakfast, we don't need the excess oil for lunch, right? Welcome to my most famous Gordon Ramsay french fries. Do you remember? Tell them who made these for you when you were growing up. Mm, my great grandma, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, disclaimer, she knew that. She didn't have to ask me anything about it. <laughs> well, we don't really edit anything out, so. Okay, sit down, child, and eat I your fries. I knew that. I'm just... Sit down, darling, and eat your fries. I have another patch coming. Another patch? Another batch. Are you going to cook the meat? Yes. Oh, yes. Immediately, child. Someone is hungry. So this is a little saffron, okay? I'm going to I'm gonna melt this with hot water and then pour a little bit over the fries. And that's my trick, Nick. A little salt. A little, a little pepper. Darling, a little salt. A little pepper. Good, then next time you're in Beverly Hills, could you come and visit me, darling? Please. Okay, you guys, so in the meantime, while I have two patties on the grill, I'm going to slice some onions. I usually prefer grilled onions, but someone to be unnamed by white. I like grilled onions. Yeah, do you like white or red? Those? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Aha, someone got saved. Blair. I don't know what's different. We're going to we're going to Chanel one. and you can buy whatever you want, Blair. My ones are on my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I was gonna use mine, but if you insist, we'll use yours. I'm just kidding, like, I love you, you know that. Alright, so in the meantime, we have some grilled onions. We're gonna put a dash of salt. That's pepper. pepper. <laughs> a dash of pepper. Another dash of salt. Okay, this is gonna be the grilled onions. So I'm gonna grill it. Those are the patties. I'm gonna flip those soon. And you're gonna wanna just put your grilled onions. Exactly like I did or they won't come out right. <laughs> Probably don't do it exactly like she did. I love you, child. Okay, so in the fungi ones, you guys, in the ones with mushroom, I'm actually going to put some garlic in there too. Do you see that? I'm going to um, add the cheese. Okay, you do what you like. Blair, do you think everyone else's kitchens are as crazy as ours? I have no clue. I really want strawberries. What do you want? Strawberry. Oh, honey, first eat your burger. Let's go one step at a time, okay? Put a little saffron, a tiny little cup, heat it up, melt it. Um, yeah, sure, why not use a knife? Stir it. Where's the other one? Cause you like yours really cooked, right? Well, like it can be a little medium rare. That's done, here, I'll give you a nice one. Um, All right, do you want your bun heated? Um, yeah. Okay. Where do I put it now? Put it on that one. Oh, I think you're supposed to do that separately. Okay. okay. This one from Nina's famous cheeseburger. Oh no, this is Gordon Ramsay's famous cheeseburger recipe. Not even a recipe. Wow. Your onions are going to be ready soon, but go get your other condiments. Do you want tomatoes? Yes. No, I don't like tomatoes. Okay. Just. Oh, because it's all high heat. Well, who decided to do the best? So, you add ketchup, the best part. I love ketchup. 
And then lettuce, your pesticide free lettuce. I left the fridge open for 15 minutes yesterday because I forgot about it. But it's okay, I eventually remembered. That's all that counts. Oh. You don't want onions? The onions are almost ready. Do you want onions? Yeah. Yeah? I feel like one of those cooks in like the... And you want to add salt and pepper? Um, to what? To, to the onions. Of course. Always add a dash of salt and pepper. You're the best. Kisses. Know, yeah, but what are you? Is that good? You should do a boomerang of that. That looks so good. She's the best. I love my children. I'm going to try a burger because I put some avocado in it too, so let's try. Mm. Really? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's very tasty. Mm, it's really nice. Yay. Do you want some? Oh, you have a in and out. All right, you guys. So the way I like to eat my burgers is I'm actually going to eat the fungi one, the one with mushrooms, and I added some garlic, salt, and pepper. And I like to eat mine, like put cheese on it, grilled onions, grilled mushrooms. Mm, this is good. The one with saffron, right? See, that's the trick, you guys. I like to slice some tomatoes. So I'm going to go do my burger, and I'll come back and show you guys how I like to eat it. And a little basil. Would you like a basil leaf, darling? But please take a basil leaf. Let's just make some more. When in doubt, just make more. Oh, these are almost done on this side. Perfect. A little salt, a little pepper. And I guess a little saffron. Right? Oh, I wish. I just can't today. Who decided to let us cook? What? Who decided to let us cook? Um, we were quarantined and we were bored and we decided to cook for the world. That's what happened. I how that turned out. Uh-huh. It turned out great, Blair. It turned out amazing. These are the ones with the mushrooms in it, you guys, the garlic. These are the sauteed mushrooms that I'm going to put on top. Wow. And the grilled onions are done right here. Wowee. Do you want some more grilled onions? No, thank you. I'm very Look, cool. someone likes their burger. All right, you guys, so my own cheeseburger is done. And this is how I'm going to make mine. All right, you guys, so I'm going to put my cheeseburger and look how juicy that looks. Okay. I'm gonna put it on my bun. We actually got whole wheat buns, not because we liked whole wheat, uh, even though I'm healthy, it's because that's all there was left at Whole Foods. Next is gonna be grilled onions. Wow, look at how good that looks. Then it's gonna be some grilled mushrooms. Oh my goodness. Gordon Ramsay, you've got nothing on me, darling. Uh, sorry, I forgot for a second because I was uh, it was hectic. Look how good this looks. Oh my goodness. A little bit of avocado, darlings. And for mine, I'm actually going to put a little bit of basil. Actually, no, the basil's going to be on the side for looks. And then these are some of my most famous saffron and by the way you guys i think you're supposed to do it in the pan so sorry about the misleading but thank you flair for informing us that that's how it's supposed to be and that's it voila look at that oh my god it looks so good do a little bit more of a garnish because you guys know how i'm all about gar oh, you little bunny you stay up there <laughs> There we go. So you guys, it is falling apart a little bit, but that's not my fault. It's because I made the most famous, juiciest cheeseburger in the world. So there's my bun, lettuce, meat, grilled onions, grilled mushrooms. This tomato is so naughty, soft spilling. Um, tomato and avocado. And I'm gonna put some ketchup for my fries and start eating. I'm gonna start with one of these fries first. Oh my God. It just needs a little bit of salt. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm sorry. I'm getting another call from a food network. Yes. One, two. Mmm. Hands down. This is the most delicious burger I've ever eaten in my whole life. Ever. Ever. Now I'm going to go take my lipstick off. All right, you guys. With that said, thank you so much for watching another cooking video. I hope you guys make this cheeseburger and the saffron circular fries for your family. I love it. Love it. Sorry for my lipstick being all over the place. It was just so good. I have to take a big bite into it. I love you guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to keep cooking. And I just don't even know. I just love you guys so, so, so much.